It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I am your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. Bitcoin still holding above that 45,000. Did get a decent rebound back up to 47 and a half. Has since pulled back. But as soon as it started pulling back to that 46,000 area, buyers pushed it back up. Not a lot of volume so far today really in the market as far as Bitcoin and Ethereum. But we have seen some breakouts in the altcoin market. As long as Bitcoin holds up here, we should see it start to push up back to 50 again here soon. But just be aware, if it starts coming back down in the 45,000 area, we possibly could see a drop. Ethereum looking a little bearish below the 10 day and the 50 at the moment. It did try to rebound up there, got close to 3,600. So it looks like 3,600 is going to be holding as some new resistance that ethereum is going to have to deal with trying to hold up in this 3500 area still there's some buying holding it up by you can see all these lower wicks on these candles these tails it's trying to hold up right now if it drops any lower we could see it back down to 3300 it needs to pop up back over 3500 break above this downtrend to be able to keep climbing up and then 50 days at 3600 so that's going to be some resistance as well akt is the top gainer today on my list this is a cash uh, this is one i was talking about a couple of weeks ago in the cosmos ecosystem it's not on coinbase or voyager uh, but I, this is one of those that i did get in with the kepler wallet and the gravity decks and i'm currently staking it for a nice percentage 40 40 percent interest and so this thing is now ripped nicely and that's what i'm expecting out of a lot of the stuff in the cosmos ecosystem is to see some nice rips and we have another one dvpn is sentinel in the cosmos ecosystem another one i'm staking uh, pushing up to all new highs here at three and a half cents so speaking of the cosmos ecosystem i was saying yesterday adam looked pretty good pretty strong and it just pushed right back up to 28. It's like the sell-off never even happened. Currently trying to hold above 26. You can see right across there, the top of that candle is right where it's holding up here. So if we can hold above that area of support, we should see Cosmos continue to run. And that's what I'm expecting. I mean, seeing the breakouts, uh, DVPN Sentinel is up 28%. AKT is up 34%. And Adam today up 27%. So that ecosystem just continuing to climb. Now Cardano still looking ugly. Tried to push back up. Got rejected at the 260 area. We got this little downtrend here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this out because we don't need that anymore. So it's got to break this downtrend. It may try to hold 250. If it holds 250 and can go sideways there and then break up. It may be able to continue to run. We're getting closer and closer to those smart contracts. I'm still holding some, not as much as I was. I sold most of my Cardano up here. If the contracts turn out good, I may look to get back in it. Algorand continuing to rip, pushed all the way to 250. I did get in Algorand in the triangle there, so I'm up a little bit of profit right now. And even though it got rejected, it's still holding pretty strong above the 225 area. The candles are above the 10-day moving average, and the EMAs are just starting to spread out. So I think Algorand's got some more in it. I think we'll at least see it to three if it holds here. If it pulls back anymore, it we'll probably try to hold two before it drops below two. All new highs at two dollar area should act as some new support for at least a little bit. But looking very good. So my CGLD swing working out good. Finally, I nailed this one down, and you can see it's popped up out of that sloping channel I was talking about yesterday. Ran all the way up to 536. Has had a little pullback. But bouncing off that 10 day, I'm expecting a bigger move out of this. I'm at least looking to $6 on CGLD uh, before I lock profits out unless it starts turning around and coming back down. Polkadot, and this is the perfect example where Cardano's barely moved up. Polkadot's rebounded halfway back to those recent highs we just hit. It's testing 30 right now. Did break over it. If it can hold above 30 again, we'll see Car we'll see Polkadot continue to climb. But you can just see the difference in the price action between P 
Polka Dot and Cosmos and Cardano. Cardano's struggling. Where some of these other plays are actually rebounding pretty nicely. Uh, Cardano just isn't so polka dot looking good as long as it can hold 30 even drops back down a lot of support in this $28 area so FET fetch did push back to a dollar uh, but getting rejected off this downtrend it is still making higher lows so far it's trying to hold this 88 cent 90 cent area where it's been holding the last few days for the start of this rip so it does look like we have a bit of a consolidation triangle going on. As long as it can hold right here, should push back up to a dollar and break over. I, I certainly expect it to happen. Because at this point, the 50 days at 81 cents, we got strong support at 75. That was previous resistance. The trend line is at 70 cents and the 200 is at 62 cents. So a lot of support below this and not hardly any resistance after a dollar and a dollar twenty. Apparently, dollar twenty was a little resistance, but after that, you know, it's pretty much wide open skies for this coin as it's been testing these new highs. Another Cosmos ecosystem coin there. H bar making a nice rebound yesterday. That's what Sam with the shoe shape. It was looking pretty good to come right back up. And not only did it come back up, it pushed up over that resistance line at that 35 cent area. Tried to break over, has come back down some, but still riding right up the 10 days. So this looks like this is going to be a nice cup and handle play. This would be your cup. This is the handle, and the handle would finish right here. And if we break out, nice cup and handle breakout. Luna's trying to break back above 30. Uh, I think it probably will, but just still in this overall channel. And as long as it's in this channel, I'm good with it. That's where I want it to be. I'm gaining interest off of it, so nothing wrong with that. But I do think we'll break back over 30 soon. I did get a mask after I waited you know, for this all to kind of settle out and see mask start moving back up off the trend line. So I'm holding it right now, looking for another big pop on it off of the trend line. It's just kind of slowly building up right now. I've got to get above that 200 moving average in the $10 area. Break of ten dollars, though I expect mass to push back up pretty quickly because it is a very low supply coin. Polygon is looking a little rough at the moment, but the overall uptrend that it's been on is still here. We're not close to it at all. And to see where this is acting as resistance, this previous line that was drawn for support is now acting as a lot of resistance it did push all the way up to dollar sixty but sellers dropped it all the way back down just slammed it back under that 140 line max got to get back over 150 to stay bullish if not we can see it continue to pull back down uh, probably the low would probably be this dollar area MIR dropped pretty hard out of this triangle the rest of the along with everything else the mirror protocol very bearish right now you see the 50 days cross to the downside 10 days cross down so this one is just not getting any movement i don't know what's going on with this coin but not even a little rebound since that drop off and it's been struggling to push the whole time that it's been rebounding from the original big drop if it can hold 350 i may take a look at it again but as of now that's pretty much done to me as Shiba rebounded very nicely off the bottom support there, getting bought up and pushing all the way back up like the drop never happened as well, so it's fully rebounded. That's a pretty strong sign on Shiba, so if you like the smaller coins or you're a Shiba fan, you may be, you may be seeing a pop come here soon up to the top of this resistance. Solana is pulling back from hitting those new highs at 2020. But still holding the 10 day moving average at the moment. It's tested 180 support and it's holding up 185. Trying to get back above 190 right now. If it holds these areas of support and has a re break of $200, Solana could keep running. Like I said yesterday, I don't know how much more it can run. It's hard to say, but it still does look very bullish. This is what, exactly what I'm talking about. See, I'm Clicking through all these coins, most of them look the same, very bearish. But then there's waves that rebounded like it was nothing. So they, there's a diff, there's a difference. There's a group that's running and a group that's not. And persistence token, I forgot about this one. This is one that's been up over the last couple of days, pushing all the way up to 11. That is another eco, uh, another Cosmos ecosystem with high staking yields. 
coin there and it's actually really low supply coin too if you want to learn more about persistence in the cosmos ecosystem go check out liam's channel at confident in crypto he is all over that community it's starting to become a, a big part it seems to be but we'll be diving into it more on this channel too but that's all the coins i'm going to cover for today everything should continue to move up as long as we're seeing altcoins breaking out pushing for new highs it looks like we're kind of transitioning into a very hot altcoin market and not so much of a bitcoin or ethereum market which is fine we just want to see bitcoin and ethereum stay in their price levels and not sharply drop like they did because that does ruin the momentum in the altcoins now let's jump over to coindesk see what type of news we got going on so mastercard acquires a crypto tracing firm cipher trace that's interesting so maybe mastercard's going to get into cryptos it says the details of the acquisition were not disclosed so we're going to have to wait and get some more news on that sec sets november deadline for final decision on van Eck bitcoin etf they are they keep postponing this decision this would be the first u.s bitcoin etf and they're messing around with it. They're not trying to put it out. It's just more of the government fearing cryptos, decentralization. They're afraid of it. So we're going to see a fight all the way down to the end because they don't want to lose the power of the currency. They control the currency. They control all of us. Other than that, really not too much in the headlines today. It would be nice if we could get some good headlines for Bitcoin or Ethereum or some of the bigger coins to try to get some attention back in the market but at this time all the markets are choppy you just got to be smart with your investing and trading don't get caught up in hype wait for your plays wait for your entries and be sure that you are not risking more than you're willing to lose keeping those risk ratios pretty low because while everything's choppy and no matter what the market is we could easily see drops, big drops like we just saw. We could see another one of those. Could see a big pop-up. It's really hard to tell. Basically, each one of us traders right now are in our own little paddle boats out in the middle of the ocean of massive amounts of money flowing all under us and around us from everything going on uh, economically around the world. So we just got to stay afloat, survive till we thrive. If there's any coins that I'm not currently covering on a weekly basis, leave them down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on the overall crypto market and where it's going to go from here. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.